Imagine you live in a community with a resort style pool, a huge lake for fishing, kayaking, beautiful walking trails with unobstructed views of the desert mountains, and pickleball. And all of these amenities are included in your HOA, which is only $155 a month. We are talking about resort style living in Queen Creek's one and only Barney Farms. I am Courtney Strelzik, your local Phoenix realtor. And today we are talking about all things Barney Farms. Barney Farms is really one of the most incredible master plan communities in Phoenix Metro. So this community is located in the Northeast part of Queen Creek. So there is a lot of new development in this specific area of Queen Creek and several big money projects that are coming to this area. You're only about three miles from the downtown or village center area of Queen Creek, which has exploded in the past handful of years. And there are still continued plans for more restaurants and shopping in this area. But directly next to Barney Farms, we have Hudson Station, which will be on the southwest corner of Signal View and Queen Creek. And Fry's, the grocery store, will be the anchor store in this shopping center. There's also an EOS gym that's also coming to the shopping center. And then directly west of Barney Farms, we have Frontier Family Park coming in 2024. You guys, this project is a huge project. It's a $67 million project. The total park is 85 acres. They're going to have an incredible indoor rec center with both an indoor gym and pool. It's going to be an outdoor playground, splash pads, several fields. They're actually going to have 24 pickleball courts. They'll also have a lake and several walking trails. I'll put a link below for this park because it really is an incredible project that's coming to Queen Creek. But let's talk about Barney Farms. So Barney Farms is actually a brand new community. It is developed by Fulton Homes, which is one of Arizona's more well-known builders. They really are still in the baby stages of developing this community. The ultimate master plan actually has 14 different communities. And so far, there's really only four that are currently being built. So the four neighborhoods that are currently available right now, we'll start with the most affordable option and then move our way up to the luxury option. Um, so the first one is meadows, then you have orchards, groves, and then finally fields, which is more of that luxury living type home. So some of the more affordable options are in the low to mid 500s and then you do make your way all the way up to a million dollar plus home the price is going to vary significantly really depending on what finishes you select for your home or come with a home and also the size the square footage and the lot size so the more affordable option the meadows if you look on their website it does say that it's starting at four hundred ninety thousand dollars. but something to keep in mind this is the base price realistically you're probably going to be paying at least thirty thousand maybe even up to eighty thousand dollars over this base price. Really, it depends on what finishes you select. These homes are primarily single family homes, but a lot of them have the options to reconfigure the floor plan to add in a loft. And they do call them a loft, but to be honest, it's really a giant space. It's basically a second story. A lot of them are gonna have bedrooms, a big living area, bathrooms up there. As far as square footage for these homes, the smallest model is around 1,700 square feet. They do have options in their more luxury luxury community, the fields for a home that's up to 4,600 square feet. And then pretty much every floor plan, you can find square footage in between those two numbers. Generally, most of the homes have three to six bedrooms. Again, some of the luxury homes, you have an option to have up to nine bedrooms. Most of the lot sizes in this neighborhood are actually pretty decent size for Phoenix standards, at least. Many of the lots are between 5,500 to 8,000 square feet. However, if you're in that luxury community, you are going to find bigger lots. A lot of the lots there are going to be eight to 10,000 square feet. Now in all the different neighborhoods you are going to find, there are a few lots that are bigger, but there's only a handful of them. So something I really do want to hone in on is these videos are gorgeous, but they are of the model home. So these are going to have a lot of the upgraded finishes. You aren't getting this home for that base price that's listed on their website. However, the quality of these finishes really do show whether it's the lighting, the hardware, cabinets, even the backsplashes. I will say when you walk into the homes in this neighborhood, you can just feel that it's good quality. There's some good bones to these homes, which isn't always a feeling that you get when you walk in other new developments in the Phoenix metro area. The neighborhoods are absolutely spotless. They also have a security individual that drives around the neighborhood regularly. The driveways all have paper patios. The front landscaping is actually completed by Fulton Homes, so it looks very uniform and clean and fresh. However, the back 
backyard landscaping is the responsibility of the home buyer. So let's talk about schools in this area. So there's actually an elementary school, which is basically in the community. And this is the Catherine Meckham Barney Elementary School. The middle school is about two miles west. And then you have the Queen Creek High School, which is about a mile and a half south. There's also a few charter schools within two mile radius that have excellent ratings. There is the Benjamin Franklin Charter School, which is actually only a half mile from Barney Farms. And then there is also a private school called Empower Academy, which is right next door as well. Now I saved the best for last, and that's the amenities that Barney Farms has to offer. And even more importantly, as a brand new development, they've been successful in establishing a sense of community. So one of the biggest focal points of this community is the lakes that are in the center of this master plan community. So these are deep lakes and you can actually do catch and release fishing here, kayaking, and it's pretty large. It's 22 acres of water actually. And there are several docks surrounding the perimeter of the lake. There's also several walking trails with beautiful landscaping throughout the neighborhood, lots of green spaces. I was actually there the other night and it was sunset and I was just thinking, this is absolutely gorgeous. I would love to go on a run through this neighborhood. There's also a volleyball court, several pickleball courts, bocce ball, cornhole. There's a great splash pad, but we got to talk about this pool because this pool is truly like a resort style pool. You have a gorgeous entryway. There is a family friendly side of the pool. And then you also do have a lap pool. I know when I was there just the other day, they actually had a volleyball net in the lap pool as well. This pool is huge. It's over 12,000 square feet, actually. There is also a fantastic center that is actually available for rent if you have a personal event that you need to host. But as I mentioned, the best part of Barney Farms really is the community. If you go on their HOA, website, they do have a list of upcoming community events. So for example, this weekend, I know they have a couple food trucks that are coming and they're having a dine in movie night and they're going to be playing Mario Super Brothers on the big screen. So there is a reason why I'm highlighting this community aspect of Barney Farms. Keep in mind that Queen Creek is such a new city. There really aren't locals living in Queen Creek. A lot of people have relocated to Queen Creek from either other areas of Phoenix Metro and more and more, we're seeing people that are actually relocating locating here from out of state. So having a community ready for you as soon as you move someplace can really make the transition of relocating that much easier and that much more comfortable. But this is really important to note. There is a plethora of reasons why people are flocking to Queen Creek, but it is not for everyone. If you wanna learn more about Queen Creek, I do have this playlist right here, really kind of breaking down the good, the bad, and the ugly of Queen Creek. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions, my contact info is below.